Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to do a quick review on the new Milwaukee four point laser. Um, this is new to the market. Uh, Milwaukee recently released this. It's a green laser, extremely powerful, and it's got really great one run time. Been using it for a couple months now. I'll show you some of the key features and tell you what I think about it. Now, I've used the uh, DeWalt 12 volt laser for a long time. The unfortunate thing about this laser, it works great but it's the only DeWalt tool that I own with a 12 volt battery. It doesn't use the larger 20 volt batteries, so that was always kind of an inconvenience. And even though the laser worked pretty well, just never was completely in love with that. Um, I've recently been switching over to using more and more of the Milwaukee M12 tools, uh, little stuff like sanders. This pin nailer is amazing. And I recently switched over to drills so if I could switch from my green laser to an M12, that was gonna be a big plus. I've been thrilled with this so far. Milwaukee has made a number of improvements to this laser. They've really thought all about all of the key features that you would want. One of the biggest things um, to me is that this laser is much brighter. And if you put one of the 3.0 CP batteries in it, this laser will actually run for 15 hours which is a really long time. One of the biggest improvements that I've seen with this laser is how much brighter the green line is on this new Milwaukee. Compared side by side with the DeWalt, you'll notice that you can just see the Milwaukee much, much better. The green line on this Milwaukee is way bolder. And uh, especially as we come back even further, you'll notice on the wall over here, once we get a little bit of distance between ourselves and the laser, the, uh, the green line on the DeWalt is about half, I'd say half as bright as the Milwaukee. The other thing you'll notice is that it's a very nice line here on the Milwaukee. If you're trying to mark something, you can very easily find the center of that line. So this is a really bright room. You can see it clearly and I've got a 20 foot ceiling in this great room and the laser is visible very clearly all the way up on that white ceiling, even with a lot of sunlight in here. One of the interesting features about the new Milwaukee is it is a locking laser. So you've got three different settings here with your turn knob off, on with the lock mode, and then on with your pendulum mode, which is automatically going to plumb and level it. So here I've got it just switched over to the lock and you'll see that you can completely turn the laser. So if you're doing some detail where you wanna be able to have a laser line um, at an angle where you could mount this on a tripod or something like that, it'll work for that. One of the key features I love is that they do make it so that it blinks every so often so that you know you're in locked mode. Um, if you have a novice or somebody that would set this up and accidentally have it in locked mode, that could be a bad deal if it didn't do that as far as alerting you when you're in that mode. So then you can switch over here to pendulum mode and it's automatically going to um, level itself. You'll notice now that it's blinking on the wall, that's because I have it over the four degrees that it will allow for. So if I move it, back here closer to level. Now it'll level itself. Obviously I'm still moving, so it's not gonna be perfect. Um, but then if I go past four degrees again, it'll start blinking again. Now let's take a look at some of these features that Milwaukee has integrated into the base. Obviously you've got magnets on the backside here, nice and strong. As long as you've got a decent amount of metal, it's really gonna lock on very solid. You don't have to worry about that falling off. It's, it's really on there well. Uh, they also do have a hanger hole built into the backside here. So you can put a screw through here and then hang it on that. And then obviously you've got a full 360 degree range of motion with this that you can swivel. Now, one of the really cool things that Milwaukee added to their base is they have micro adjustment. And as you look here, as I twist this knob, the laser is actually moving ever so slightly, and that's gonna allow you to micro adjust your line. That's a really handy feature. Can't tell you how many times 
I've had the laser sitting down on the floor and I've tried to move it little by little, um, but having that micro adjust feature comes in really handy. A couple other features worth noting here. Um, once we turn our laser on, you've got a mode button here, so it'll go from horizontal to plumb, or you can use both axes. Up here, you also have a battery indicator light. Again, four LED lights there. And again, with a 3.0 CP battery, this thing will run for 15 hours. One of the other cool features, which this is really the whole design of this laser, it's called a four point laser because you have plumb dots going in four different directions. Down here on the floor, you'll see this plumb dot and that transfers all the way up to the ceiling. As you can see up there, you've got a nice bright dot up there if you need to transfer points from one place to another. Now, the dots also work on the horizontal axis as well. So if you needed to connect two points, as you can see here, uh, I've got my horizontal laser on and I've got a point over here and then a point over here as well. Uh, personally, with my workflow, I wouldn't really ever use the horizontal points, but the plumb dots in the plumb plane uh, is something that comes in really handy. Now I've used this DeWalt laser for years and it's just a little bit different design. Um, we have different laser planes here. So I was able to use the two planes as a plumb dot for years. If I needed to do a specific point, I would just turn on the two laser planes and then use that intersection. But I really like the new feature on the Milwaukee having that exact dot on the floor and then up on the ceiling comes in really handy. Now the new Milwaukee laser is a little bit larger than the DeWalt that I had in the past. Not much, uh, not a deal breaker or anything like that. I'm pretty happy with the size overall and it feels like a really robust tool. It's got nice protection all around the housing that feels like a, it would stand up to a fall decently well. Whereas this laser has got a lot of just points that you know, feel like it wouldn't do nearly as well with a fall off of a ladder or something like that. Now, we talked about the micro adjust on this laser and how handy that is. That covers this plane, but one of the key things that I've used over the years is this Johnson bracket. And whenever I do coffered ceilings and things like that, I want to be able to micro adjust in the vertical plane. And this bracket has allowed me to do that really easily. I just hang it on the wall and then it's very easy to go up and down and you can lock it in place. I'll link this in the video description. Um, it's well worth the money if you've got a laser that'll work with it. Now that brings me to the point with this new Milwaukee laser, unfortunately it doesn't work nearly as well with this bracket. Uh, it still will go on, but the base on the new Milwaukee is a little bit too large for it to actually pivot all the way around. So I'd have to kind of position this in the corner of a coffered ceiling or something like that to make this work. Kind of unfortunate because I love this base. That being said, there's different bracket options that uh, I'm sure I can come up with to make this work, especially considering that we've got the magnets integrated into this base, really just nailing a metal strip onto the wall and you'd be able to micro adjust this up and down. So overall, I am a huge fan of this. Milwaukee has really outdone themselves. They've made a super bright laser. It lasts for a long time. 15 hours of runtime is fantastic. The base has got all the features that you want and need. Uh, it's got a robust design that's gonna hold up well. Just can't beat it, uh, fantastic tool. And then being on the M12 battery platform really makes it a great value to be able to run this for a long time with the same batteries that I'm using on my other tools. Just makes it a, a good tool all around. So I'd highly recommend it got any questions let me know in the comments i've been really happy with this so thanks for watching hope this review helps